Denise Froman is a poet and an activist. She was the welcoming speaker at the conference. She comes from an unusual multicultural background, Puerto Rican and Jewish. Her message? That your voice matters. Uh, this idea that uh, us coming together isn't enough, uh, that what we have to contribute to space and to communities and to this campus isn't enough. Uh, I want students to feel empowered um, and to fall in love with the power of their voices. Other groups participated as well. A joint fraternity group made this board. Students could come up and could write one thing that they would like to change about the university and inclusion. Because everything we do at the campus has to be intentional. So it's just genuinely trying to understand someone's experience. Everybody lives different lives. Everybody's had different traumas and different experiences, so to speak. So just being able to understand people, not necessarily um, empathize because we haven't all been through it, but just to be able to have that common, common ground. Going forward, Archie hopes that every SUNY school and any institution follows their example of intent and action to educate and support all students or anyone participating in the business, regardless of race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, or gender identity. And he also encourages something simple. So I, I think it, it takes a collaborative effort. Uh, it can't just be our faculty, it can't just be our staff, it can't just be our students, it can't even just be our alumni. It takes a collaborative effort of each one of these stakeholders inputting our progressive efforts to say, what can we contribute? How can we help? What can we give back? This year's conference was the same day the college announced that its Department of Nursing received insight into diversity's 2019 Health Professionals Higher Education Excellence in Diversity Award. The keynote speaker of this conference was Francisco Cantu, who spoke about his new book, The Line Becomes a River. Dan Gross, News 8.